Happy New Year! This week in recruiting news, Michigan Tech continues to persuade recruits from Lower Michigan to join the Great White North. Miami of Ohio just made their pass rush more explosive after snagging a defensive end who helped his team to the state title tilt in the Buckeye State. And one of the top shooters on the top 2A team in Indiana High School hoops is headed to the NAIA. That and more as we ring in 2021 and round up the recruits. The State Champ Scout Show starts now. Allow me to introduce myself to the Scout Show faithful. I'm Jenna Rose and I'll be your guide for this raucous recruiting ride here in 2021. State Champ Scout Show is the only weekly recruit report covering the states of Michigan, Indiana and Ohio. This program is presented by Lord's Technological University. LTU offers over two dozen varsity sports for men and women, along with several dozen world-class undergraduate programs. Athletic and academic scholarships are available in all sports, including football and basketball. Visit LTUathletics.com and recruit yourself. The scout team is here not to just inform, but also to educate. Brian Van Dyke is a former quarterback at Michigan State. He spent time in the NFL and the Arena League. He spends these days training and preparing high school athletes for the next level. The latest in his recruiting 101 series is coming up in just a little bit, but let's kick off the new year with what's shaking in Ohio. This is Alan True taking you through the latest in recruiting from the state of Ohio. Maslin Washington senior defensive end Caden Woolard has committed to the Red Hawks of Miami, Ohio. After a good junior season, he helped his team to a state title appearance as a senior. He also grew to 6'5", 235 pounds in that time. He played standing up as a rush backer, but with his size can transition to a hand down defensive end if the Red Hawks need him to do that. Either way, he projects as an impact player in college. He was a first-team All-Ohio selection as a senior, and several other MAC programs had offered, including Buffalo, Ball State, and Kent State. Ethan Green from Fremont Ross has received a new offer from Miami, Ohio, with that offer coming on New Year's Eve. That is the fifth offer for Green, with Bowling Green, Youngstown State, Toledo, and Akron also on his list. At six foot seven, 255 pounds, is a big frame and was the Northwest Ohio Lineman of the Year as a junior and a first team All-Ohio selection. He also has a wrestling background, which schools like in offensive linemen. He's a three-time All-American on the map. A variety of other schools have shown interest, including Notre Dame, Iowa State, Rutgers, and more. Lakewood St. Edwards senior defensive end Charles Calhoun has given a verbal commitment to Gannon. A six foot two, 215 pound edge rusher Calhoun had offers from Kent State and Ohio as well. He was an honorable mention all area selection as a senior this season and is a major piece of the Golden Knights class now. Ohio State's women's basketball program received a New Year's Eve verbal commitment from Reynoldsburg's Maya Perry, a 5'11 junior guard who was offered by the Buckeyes earlier in December. She chooses them over offers from Georgia Southern, Marquette, Oakland, Xavier, Cincinnati, Central Michigan, and more. As a sophomore, Perry was a first-team all-league selection and honorable mention all-district selection after averaging 14 points per game. That's it in Ohio Recruiting this week. I'm Alan True. If you're a high school athlete with the dream of playing college sports, Lawrence Technological University wants you to recruit yourself. LTU offers over two dozen varsity sports for men and women, along with several dozen world-class undergraduate programs. Athletic and academic scholarships are available in all sports, including its newest additions, competitive cheer and dance, e-sports, women's hockey, and men's and women's track and field. Visit LTUathletics.com and recruit yourself. Lawrence Tech, where Blue Devils dare. I'm Lauren Plant with the first recruit report from the state of Michigan in 2021. Jarvis Wyndham is hardly a tiny human being, but he does get lost a bit in the shuffle with some of the true behemoths he shares space with on Detroit Cast Tech's offensive and defensive lines. If you were one of the coaches who overlooked him because of his size, he'd love to thank you. 
that motivated the heck out of an offensive guard and defensive tackle. The 6'2", 312-pound trench dweller made that clear when he gave his verbal to Ferris State on New Year's Day, becoming the ninth college commit from Castex 2021 class. Any overlooking certainly wasn't about being productive. Wyndham gave up zero sacks and zero pressures in his career, helping the technicians roll to an unbeaten season through the district finals. Grand Valley continued its December roll by picking up a New Year's Day commitment from one of the state's best safeties in Muskegon's Tyrese Oaks, adding a D1 talent to their secondary. A first-team All-State honoree by both the Associated Press and the MHS FCA, the 6-foot, 175-pound Oaks had 45 tackles and three interceptions as a senior, including one 60-yard pick six in the district finals. Oaks picked the Lakers over a handful of D1 offers, four of them from Minimum. American Conference schools. Thanks to avid film study and great instincts, Pinckney free safety Jack Tratchett was a tackling machine, recording 70 tackles in 10 games as a junior, 63 more in 7 games this season, intercepting 9 passes over his 3-year career and breaking up 16 more. That paid off with both honors as the Livingston Daily's Defensive Player of the Year, as well as an opportunity to play at the next level, which he cashed in on December 30th, committing to Hillsdale. On offense, the 6-foot, 180-pound Tratchett had 28 catches for 439 yards and five touchdowns. He's also an accomplished baseball player. The defending Division II state champions Muskegon Mona Shores placed another member of their secondary at the next level. All-state lockdown corner Keandre Pierce committed to Siena Heights just before the holidays. A three-year starter for the Sailors, Pierce has the most victories by any player in the program's history. The Sailors are 33-4 in his three years with two straight title game appearances. Pierce plays both corner and slot slash wideout on offense. The 5'11", 175-pound team captain recorded 20 22 tackles this season, earning All-State honors from both the MHS FCA and Associated Press as a defensive back this season. Secondary mate Gary Humphrey committed to Wayne State and Brady Rose is headed to Ferris State. The Michigan Tech Huskies have been cutting a recruiting swath through the Lower Peninsula through December. After picking up a commitment from Montague quarterback Drew Collins, the Huskies continued their role, picking up several more notable commitments through the holiday season. Pewamo Westphalia's 6'3", 215-pound tight end and defensive end Nick Knoll committed mid-December, the same day as Pawpaw's Colby Hiddenock, who had nearly 3,000 rushing yards and 40 touchdowns in his career. Colby's twin brother Connor, a 6'3", 250-pound fullback and defensive end and linebacker committed to Tech a day earlier. Country Day's ball hockey do-it-all running back returner and cornerback Jacob Yarberry committed to the Huskies two days before Christmas. Grand Blanks 5'8", 160-pound all-conference defensive back Sean Allen committed December 28th. Zealand East, Nathan Varik verbaled on New Year's Eve after visiting Michigan Tech 11 days earlier. The 6'3", 210-pounder played right tackle for six games and defensive end for three because of a knee injury. Two of Michigan's best 2022 players narrowed their recruiting fields recently. Dearborn Forts and offensive and defensive tackle Kamari Landers dropped his top seven on January 1st. It includes Michigan, Michigan State, Kentucky, Nebraska, Oregon, Cincinnati, and West Virginia. The same day, West Bloomfield's two-way threat Dylan Tatum dropped a top 10 that includes Notre Dame, Wisconsin, Georgia, Nebraska, Michigan State, Ohio State, Michigan, Penn State, Baylor, and USC. That's it this week for Michigan. I'm Lauren Plant. Did you record an unbelievable touchdown, a game-winning goal, or just a proud parent moment? Then we want your clip. Upload your video to the brand new State Champs Network app so we can feature it on one of our shows and give your player, team, and school the recognition they deserve. All it takes is just a few easy clicks and every clip that is submitted will automatically be eligible for prizes. Download the State Champs Network app today for iPhone and Android devices. This is Scott Bernstein from Indiana. Fort Wayne Blackhawk Christian senior basketball star Zane Burke committed to St. Francis over the weekend. The six foot two guard is one of the best small school players in the Hoosier State. As a sophomore, he won a Class A state title, scoring 10 points in a 60-43 win over Bar Reeve in the state championship game. 
he plays alongside Mr. Basketball candidate and Purdue signee Caleb First, so he's not unfamiliar with high-level competition in practice. If First is the state's small school Michael Jordan in 21, Burke is Scottie Pippen. Blackhawk Christian is 8-0 this season, and Burke is averaging 20 points, 8 rebounds, and 5 assists per game. St. Francis is an NAIA school in Fort Wayne, so Burke will be playing his college hoops close to home. In terms of efficiency and basketball IQ, Burke might be the best there is in the state's small school ranks. He shoots a high percentage and finishes at the rim through contact. Switching gears to football, the most highly coveted pass rusher in the class of 22, Brebuff Jesuit defensive end Joe Strickland still has Michigan as a front runner in his recruiting even though the program faltered this season and the Wolverines coaching situation is unclear. Strickland told 24-7 Sports, it's still Michigan, it's still the Block M, it's still the Big House. Besides U of M, Indiana, Penn State, and Minnesota are said to be the schools Strickland is leaning towards right now. The 6'5", 270-pound quarterback-eating menace registered 65 times. Bernstein. Hi, I'm Ryan Van Dyke with State Champs. I want to share some fatherly advice with you that Coach D'Antonio shared with me about 10 years ago. And just like a lot of fathers, it was short. To the point, but oh so right. I left school early to pursue my dream of playing in the NFL. So at the age of 30, I went back to East Lansing and, and I had to finish up online school. I had to go to class during the summer and I had to graduate in order to pursue my coaching career, which I, I had a job waiting for me, predicated upon graduating college. So I, I thought there was one guy to go talk to and it was Coach D'Antonio and I walked into his office and at that point in time, as a young coach, I thought maybe coaching at the highest of levels was the biggest and best thing for me. Um, and I thought I knew what I wanted to do and where I wanted to coach. And before I left, Coach D'Antonio, I asked him, I said, Coach, I said, before I leave, like, give me something, you know, like, give me something that, that somebody, you wish somebody would have told you. And he just looks me sternly in the eye and he goes, Ryan, coaching is a journey. And I'm like, is that, is it period on the end or, and, and that was it. And it stumped me for like years. You know, and the, the more I thought about it, the more involved I, I became with my craft. I wanted to help people for the right reasons. It wasn't so much about the level. It was about the love of doing, the love of coaching, love of caring, the love of seeing improvement and helping people become, you know, what they thought they could be, right? Not accepting them for who they are, but showing them something that they could be and helping them get there. And with each year that goes by, this wise advice becomes more and more clear. Kind of like 2020 clear. This is Ryan Van Dyke with State Champs Network. Sometimes the best advice is the simplest advice. Thank you, Ryan. And thank you guys for tuning into the State Champs Scout Show. For even more recruiting news, check out Scott Bernstein's and Matt Mowry's weekly scout team blogs at statechampsnetwork.com. And for weekly highlights from the tri-state area, download the free State Champs app and click on the State Champs High School Sports Show. I'm Jenna Rose, and this is the first of 50 weekly scout shows planned for 2021 because recruiting never stops. See you next week. State Champs Scout Show is proudly presented by Lawrence Technological University, where Blue Devils dare.